Hello Python programmers. So this is the third and most probably the final video of our Twitter automation project series. Now you must be wondering that why it is the final. As I can see from my statistics on YouTube analytics, these videos are not performing well. So this means that you are not interested in Twitter automation. So I'll be moving on to next topics. So this is most probably the final video of this Twitter automation project series and in this video, we'll see that how we can do the sentiment analysis of the top 100 tweets from a selected hashtag. Now, let me explain you that what I mean. Let's say that you select a specific hashtag. Let's say CBSC board exam. And you want to do a sentiment analysis of top 100 tweets. You want to see that what is the sentiment or what is the nature of this hashtag. So in the previous video, in the second video of this playlist, we have seen that how to extract those hundred hashtags. Now you can go to previous video and see because I'm not gonna repeat it once again. Okay. So what we'll be doing is we'll be using those hundred hashtag and we'll be doing the sentiment analysis. Now we won't be using any neural network or artificial intelligence for this. What we'll be using is we'll be using the text blob library of Python. Now text blob is a lexicon which have all the predefined words with their sentiments. It's like a big dictionary with all the words and their predefined nature like good is good and bad is bad or poor is bad in terms of uh, nature okay so let's do the sentiment analysis so first of all you uh, what you need to do is you need to uh, install the text blob package of python so just open the command prompt and write pip install uh, text blob okay press enter and this package will be installed for you now for me this is already installed here you can see so let's close this and get to our editor to write our code Okay, so now we are into our editor. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll import the text blob library of Python. Okay, now make sure that this T is capital here. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll create three variables negative, positive, and neutral. These three variables will store the points of each sentiment. Okay, so let me create those variables. Okay, so now let's go to uh, the for loop in which we were selecting those hashtags or those tweets and then what we'll do is we'll simply create a nature variable and in this nature variable we'll store the sentiment of this tweets. Okay, so how do we decide that whether a tweet is having a positive impact or a negative impact? Let's say that we have a tweet uh, this is a good movie. How can we decide whether uh, this tweet is just a second? This tweet is of good or bad sentiment. What we do is we remove those words that are non-required, like is a are not required. They do not imply any uh, sentiment. So what we focus is we focus on these three uh, these two keywords basically this is also uh, not required so we focus on these two uh, variables or these two values so movie is a neutral sentiment movie doesn't uh, speak in itself but good is a good sentiment or a positive sentiment so in whole these five words which uh, make a tweet we can say that this is a good sentiment because the majority of the words or the ratio of the word say that this is positive okay so this was a quick info of uh, of how the sentiment analysis work so what we'll do is we'll create this nature variable 
and then we'll use the text blob to uh, just know whether this uh, tweet that we have selected in this for loop is positive or negative or neutral okay okay so now here you can see that we have stored the sentiment of this tweet in this nature variable now this nature variable will be having many values but we are only interested in the sentiment polarity now what i'm gonna do is uh, just uh, comment these things out and let me first show you that what is the output in this uh, nature variable okay so that we can get some idea that uh, what we are exactly doing okay so we write nature here and then let's print it okay so uh just a second i guess i've done something wrong uh yeah yeah just a second uh, okay so this i wasn't expecting because this uh should be uh b here okay so what i'll do is i'll open the command prompt and show you a single example because uh if i run this program then it will first extract the 100 tweets and then show the sentiment so it will become uh, a bit of a lengthy process so what i'll do is uh i'll open the python shell here uh python and then we'll import the text blob here uh, so uh, just a second from text blob we'll import the text blob okay and then what we'll do is let's create an a variable and uh, let's write this is a good movie okay uh, not goof this is a good movie okay now let's do one thing now let's use the same variable uh, nature text uh, blob and then we'll provide this a variable okay so let's run this nature variable and okay so this is a, a text blob object now let's do a nature dot sentiment okay so nature dot sentiment okay so here we can see that we are having two values first is the polarity and second is the subjectivity now we are not interested in subjectivity because it uh, signifies whether a uh, sentence is subjective or is objective we are not interested in this uh, value we are only interested in the polarity of this sentence whether it is positive or negative or neutral now here you can see it is 0 0.7 which is very near to 1 which means that it has a positive sentiment okay so uh, this is how we do the sentiment analysis using the text block so we'll be doing this to all these hundred uh, tweets and what we'll be doing is we'll be creating a report card after doing the sentiment analysis of all these hundred tweet and then we'll be saying that the 70 percent of the people uh, have used these hashtag in the positive term so this means that this hashtag has a positive impact or these hashtag have a negative impact if the majority of the people were uh, posting something negative okay so uh, this is how this uh, sentiment analysis will work okay so uh, let me write the code first then i'll explain you that how everything is happening okay okay so now we are done with the sentiment analysis let's write some print statement to print our output and just wait for a few seconds then i'll explain you that what is happening inside now okay so perfect now here you can see as i've told you the output of this nature dot sentiment will have two values first is the polarity and second is the subjectivity we don't want the subjectivity we only want the polarity now if the polarity is equal to equal to zero which means that the uh, nature or the sentiment of this uh, tweet is neutral then we'll give one point to the neutral if the polarity is greater than zero then this means that it is of positive sentiment so we'll award this to positive sentiment if it is uh, less than zero then we'll award this to negative sentiment 
then what we'll do is after this for loop is executed uh yeah yeah so after this for loop is executed we'll simply uh, print the positive variable and then the percentage tweets were positive negative the percentage tweets were negative and neutral these percent tweets uh, uh, were having some mixed opinion okay so let's save this program and let's go uh, to the folder shift plus mouse right click open powershell window here python1.py i guess this is what the file name is yep uh, press enter and let's enter the hashtag now let me uh, think of a popular hashtag which is trending right now just give me a second okay so now let's use this hashtag actually this is doggo coin to the moon uh thanks to elon musk for this uh, for this uh hashtag so uh, let me write hashtag first and then this doggo coin to the moon let's press enter and it will actually take some time to extract all the hashtag and here you can see it is having all the hashtag and actually i made a mistake uh, to print all the hashtag uh, so we have to wait for a few seconds to get to the output uh, and yeah here you can see that the 25 percent of the tweets were uh, were positive nine percent tweets were negative okay so people were also commenting uh were also tweeting negative and 66 percent tweets were having mixed values okay so yep this was a short video in which i have shown you that how you can create a python program to do sentiment analysis of the 100 tweets or tweets related to a specific hashtag now you can select like a thousand tweets or 500 tweets any number you want and uh, in the previous video i have shown you that how you can extract the number of tweets okay so this is it and I'll meet you in my next lecture where we'll create something more awesome. Okay, so meet you there. Bye bye.